This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household, to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you filled the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed and by confirming herself to the likeness of Christ may show his face to the world who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. My brothers, be united in following my rule of life. Take as your models everybody who is already doing this, and study them as you used to study us. I have told you often, and I repeat it today with tears, there are many who are behaving as the enemies of the cross of Christ. They are destined to be lost. They make foods into their God, and they are proudest of something they ought to think shameful. The things they think important are earthly things. For us, our homeland is in heaven, and from heaven comes the Saviour we are waiting for, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will transfigure these wretched bodies of ours into copies of his glorious body. He will do that by the same power with which he can subdue the whole universe. So then, my brothers and dear friends, do not give way, but remain faithful to the Lord. I miss you very much, dear friends. You are my joy and my crown. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates of Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord, for Israel's Lord it is, that who praise the Lord's name. There was at the thrones of judgment of the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ grows perfect in the love of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, There was a rich man and he had a steward who was denounced to him for being wasteful with his property. He called for the man and said, What is this I hear about you? Draw me up an account of your stewardship because you are not to be my steward any longer. Then the steward said to himself, 
Now that my master is taking the stewardship from me, what am I to do? Dig. I am not strong enough. Go begging. I should be too ashamed. How do I know what I will do to make sure when I am dismissed from office, there will be some to welcome me into their homes? Then he called his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? One hundred measures of oil was the reply. The steward said, Here, take your bond. Sit down straight away and write fifty. To another he said, And you, sir, how much do you owe? One hundred measures of wheat was the reply. The steward said, Here, take your bond and write eighty. The master praised the dishonest steward for his astuteness. For the children of this world are more astute in dealing with their own kind than are the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves in our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O oh God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.